Remember this beautiful expansion that we were gonna be doing right here at this building? Well, guess what? It's not happening. Why is it not gonna happen? So I've got good news and I've got bad news. Okay. The bad news is, <laughs> I hope you guys don't hate me for this, I'm not doing the expansion where I'm at. Oh, wow. So guys, I have a kind of heavy topic that I need your help with that I want to talk to you about today. But before we get into that, I actually have a really cool clutch of ball python eggs that I'm about to cut. Which was this female mahogany, which is beautiful, incomplete, dominant animal. The super of this is this black ball python called a suma. And it's bred to this ripper male here, which is a super pastel leopard lesser clown. And egg number one. Again, there's going to be a lot of potential really cool combo. The mahogany clown stuff is ridiculous. These are all just going to be hats for that, but all kinds of different combinations. Theoretically, everything should be pastel because it was a super pastel, and sure enough, the first one is a pastel. It looks like, uh, gosh, this is a beautiful animal. I'm just trying to see exactly what it looks like. Definitely not a leopard, but it looks like a pastel mahogany. Possibly even a lesser hat for clown. That is a ripper right there. Beautiful snake. Once it climbs out, we're going to get a lot better idea. Definitely a pastel mahogany. Probably a lesser, which is awesome, so we just missed the leopard part. We still have a bunch of eggs. Let's move on to egg number two. And I'm so excited to raise these up and breed them back and get some really incredible clown stuff for sure. It's going to be amazing. Let's see egg number two here. Again, we have another pastel mahogany. Probable lesser. And I think it's the exact same animal as the first Great animal. combination. Let's go back and talk about that deep topic. And that deep topic is all about the expansion. Like I said, for a number of reasons, all of which I won't go into right now, this building we really can't expand the way we want. I mean, really, there's a whole host of things. None bigger than parking. We can't triple the amount of people in this building and have nowhere to park. So this building's expansion is completely kibosh. But let's go ahead and cut a couple more eggs. Still hoping for a leopard, but I'm not complaining. We've already gotten a couple really beautiful animals. And this time it looks like a pastel lesser that is heifer clown. No mahogany in this one. Still no leopard though, which is kind of weird. So we've been missing the odds on that. So let's see what we got in this egg right here. Oh, it's always so satisfying looking into a fresh egg. What do we have here? Definitely a lesser, definitely a pastel. This one looks like it's probably a leopard. So this looks like the pastel lesser leopard hat for clown. So we didn't hit the all gene, we were just missing the mahogany, but we're getting closer. Back to you, Brian. But ironically enough, this building, which is directly across the came available. That's right, this entire building. So for the last couple months, I have been actually negotiating to get this building. We are literally within days of being able to do it, and now I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do it across the street at St. Vincent de Paul's. Mm. Wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're opening up a thrift store? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to explain more about this later, but for now, I can't wait to see what's in the next couple of snake eggs. And back to this clown clutch right here. Again, I wish that this mahogany was pepper clown. It would be so cool to be doing clown stuff. And I'm hoping we'll hit that all gene animal, which of course is the pastel mahogany leopard clown ball python. Let's see what we have here. Beautiful snake, regardless of what it is. Oh, looks like just a pastel lesser pet for clown right now, but really reduced pattern on the side. Absolutely incredible. Let's go into the next egg. Oh. Let's see, let's see if there's any leopard in here. Looks like just another pastel lesser pet for clown. Back to our topic, but stay tuned because we still have one egg to cut. But like I said, this building actually became available. It has all the space we want. One floor so we don't have two floors. It has a tremendous amount of parking, which is a huge bonus. And literally, we're like one, maybe two days away from signing the papers, but not so fast. This is where I need your help, guys. And I'm not just saying it. I really need your help down in the comments because for the first time, I'm a little bit confused. Up until now, I was gung-ho. We were expanding. I was gonna spend every dime I had. I was gonna borrow money. I was gonna do whatever I could do to expand. And now I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I really need to hear from you guys what you think I should do. As this vlog goes on, you'll learn more about my ideas. And I really wanna know what you would do if you were in my position. We all know the economy is slowing down. We all know that things are looking a little bit scary. As a matter of fact, I talked to the contractor that was gonna do the build out and he said he lost three huge jobs just in the last week because people are backing out of things. That's scary. Is is it the right time to risk everything you have when you know that things are kind of slowing down in the economy? Or do you just follow your dreams and say, heck with it, it doesn't matter? Never even reach out to a bunch of vendor friends of mine for things for the new gift shop. TreasureBucketsCo.com actually did these for us. I think it's a treasure bucket. Let's see what's in here. I was just, oh. Oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. Somebody look at this! Oh. And you go through oh, it. Oh, I know what these are. These are fun. <gasps> Temporary tattoo, we're totally doing this. Yeah. There's more goodies. Look at that. It's live. This thing's got some weight to it, man. I need to smack someone with that. 
slime? They got slime! So what's this all about, Dad? So like I had mentioned, I've been reaching out to vendors because we're going to have such a larger gift shop. So you can see I'm kind of deep into this already. Unfortunately, it hit a little bit of a road bump. And to make matters worse, I don't even know what it's going to cost. I have to spend the money on the architects to get the drawings in order to know how much space I have, to know how many tanks I can get in so I can get a quote on the tanks. And then once I get the tanks, I have to learn how much lighting I need, how much sand I need, how much salt I need. The fish alone could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm not 100% sure. Nobody can tell me. When right? I go to all my friends and I say, what do you think this would cost? Everyone's like, I don't know. So I don't know what's going to happen. I've got to take the first step in order to take the second step, the third step, the fourth step. And I can't take step number five until I've taken the first four steps, which means I'm already committed to it and I can't back out. It is terrifying. And we're back with the last egg. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I still wish we would have hit that all gene animal. We've only hit one leopard in this entire clutch. This one looks really nice though. Look at that. Oh, guess what we hit guys? We hit the all gene animal. This is the pastel leopard lesser hat for clown. That was the animal. Look at how beautiful it is. Almost looks like a highway ball python. Wow, I tell you what, that was what I was hoping for and I'm not disappointed. So there's really three options. Option number one, we get this building and we risk it all. And I'm not just talking about like a little risk. I'm talking risking everything I've worked for my entire life in order to do this. Don't get me wrong, it's in my heart. I want to do it. I visualize it. I risk everything in an economy that's already slowing down and could get pretty ugly. The second option is just to stay the same, but of course that has some problems with it too. Look at salt and pepper. They're not going to stay in this enclosure much longer. Without an expansion of some sort, I don't know what I'm going to do with salt and pepper. There's a few other animals that are going to need larger cages that I don't have any room for larger cages. So staying the same is kind of not a great option. The last option is to blow this wall out, which happens to be the other side of this wall, which means moving all of this stuff out and filling it up with more enclosures. And then we have to figure out where all this stuff in offices go. And we got to figure out how to get some more money out of this expansion, bro. Ice cream buffet. I've never even heard of that. That sounds pretty good. I'm thinking more of like bringing elephants and sell elephant rides 50 bucks a head elephant ears with ice cream I guess. So the cons of doing this building is basically, again, I risk everything I have. The thing I'm really worried about is what if I risk everything, 90% done, completely run out of money, and can't finish the project. Now I have all of it invested, and it can't even be open, and who knows what could happen. I don't really think there's anything other than that. Not to mention, there is a tremendous amount of stress. I've never opened a public aquarium before. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into, but I know it would be absolutely incredible if we could do it. But man, am I going to take that big of a risk at this point in my life? And the con of moving here and doing the expansion in the BHV size the fact that we're not going to be really adding any new experience we're going to build some larger enclosures move some animals have a few other things but really it's going to be a little bit of the same there'll be a few new animals no doubt about it but for the most part the experiences that you get now are going to be almost exactly the same just with a little bit more space i got it palm reading tell you your future is giving us your money does she have an ice cream in their palm you probably have an ice cream in your palm no nice. that's the money right there baby can we have miniature ice cream for them too sure that's my girl. These are the things I really need. I've been working for 35 years. I'm kind of comfortable, right? Things are working out. You know, I've got a lot of things happening. This is like literally potentially risking it all. If I mean, this didn't work out, there wouldn't even be this rep tear. Everybody's jobs. I'm talking about risking my future and starting over from scratch. And I've never been worried in my life about making aggressive investments. I've always been forward, swing for the fences. But this is the first time that I'm a little freaked out. I'm not going to lie to you. And I'm freaked out not just because this is an enormous job. What are the things? that I won't know about. What comes up? What do I do when I get 90% done? And I have no more money and no more possibility to finish the project. And that's why I'm coming to you guys. I just want it Because you know, there's a saying that says, scared money don't make money. And I'm terrified. This building across the street won't be available and I won't be able to do it in that building. But maybe another opportunity to come up a year from now, two years from now, three years from now. I'm not 100% sure. What would you guys do? That's what I need to know. I'm so lucky to be around animals all the time. And that's what makes these decisions so hard. Look at that little chunky monkey right there trying to bite me. These are black house snakes here and then we actually have a t positive albino brown house snake and some hypo brown house snake in there they're just so amazing but like i had mentioned you know i'm really struggling guys and i could use your help just to tell me what i should do what you would do don't tell me what i should do what would you do if you were in my position would you risk it all would you take a step back and let things kind of play out over the next year or two just expand it to the bhb side of things just swing for the fences and hope things work out Go in the comments do me a favor and let me know what you think i should do and what you would do and i so appreciate all your support this video is done Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. It sounds like it's farting. It's